Welcome back guys to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial and in this video we are going to continue a little bit with what we did in the previous video and that is coloring our items in the inventory system. So we created this uh, tooltip system which shows us our item infos and now we are going to implement some more functionality and make this, um, well actually you can pick the solution that you uh, prefer better the one in the previous video or the ones that we are going to implement in this video so um, yeah if you want to see the result just skip till the end if you like it then follow this tutorial so let's begin the first thing what I'm gonna do I'm gonna open up the inventory system folder and the S inventory structure and inside of here we are going to add a variable which is going to represent our item color so I'm gonna call this item color and I'm going to give this a slate color structure type. This is the default uh, built-in structure. So you guys should have this by default. So that's going to be this. And here we have this item color by the default. And I'm just going to leave this at pink. And uh, yeah, let it just stay there. The next thing what we should do is select all of our pre-made pickups except for the spawned pickup and we should open these up so now I have all of these opened up in my editor and in the item data for every single item we need to set the info so I'm gonna compile to get the item data and I'm going to set colors for all of my equipables So now I have set colors for all of my items and now I will just simply close all of them. So the next thing what I'm going to do is open up my third person character blueprint and well I already have this open but we need to uh, connect the pins for two of our inventory functions and those functions are add item because now we have a new pin in the structure so I'm going to connect this in the add item and also one more we need is in our remove item here we go so I'm gonna compile and save so that's going to be it for the third person character and now in the UI folder I'm going to open up my item info and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna leave these colors for the text by default to be like they are but I'm just going to change the um, buttons uh, background color so I'm gonna go to the graph and in the event construct I'm going to drag in my item button I'm going to get it and here I'm going to set color set background color and for this we need to get our item color and we need to break this slate color because we don't need the other parameter color use rule we only need the specified color so connect this specified color I'm gonna do a reroute over here seems good so that's going to be it for this so now we can compile and save let's pick up a few different types of items to see the result and there we go we have multiple different colors for different types of items so we have a medical box jeans energy drinks water bottles axe stick carrot log stone all in different types of colors so as you can see I have this opacity a bit lower um, so we can see through these colors so if you don't like that, what you can do is select your item button in the designers tab and uh, you can put the opacity of this tint higher or lower because we are not changing the opacity, we are only changing the color itself. So the next thing what I'm going to do now is I will uh, redo the system that we have for the tooltip so that we would receive the same colors for uh, our tooltip as well. So I'm going to open up the item tooltip and in the graph. So let's see what we need to do is 
and inside of here what we can do is we can delete these set color and opacity uh, nodes all but one because we need one of them and we should right click this and recombine it to back uh, to be as default like so and I'm going to connect this color and opacity whoops to the item break as inventory structures item color I will collapse this so this should look something like this and also here we have this um, where we are setting the info value for our different items so I'm going to actually move this to the front a bit and move this back I will disconnect the execution pin for now so I'm gonna leave this like so and actually I could move these up as well like so and now I will move this in I will move this in here and actually since we are moving this over here then I will disconnect this this is the um, item structure already broken the item data so if we recombine this it is this variable right here but we are not going to use it anymore but instead what we are going to do we are going to get these values directly from over here so I'm gonna connect the value and the type to a append string node and I'm going to connect all of these food health water and stamina nodes to over here so we are setting the values for these items to be to be displayed so now we can delete this node and what we have left is we should now move in this set text click to use so uh, this is for our usable items the ones that we have a type in this uh, string and now at the end of it I will connect this set color and opacity like so and also we are going to set color and opacity for the other items so how do we do that we don't set the types for all of our items we only set types for the items that we need to do a specific thing for and uh, all the other ones will come out of this default pin so we can just directly connect this default to set color and opacity and I will do a reroute so that it would be better visible and it wouldn't mix with all the other nodes so I'm going to do like this and at the end it should look something like this looks a bit messy because we have a lot of pins over here but well it is what it is we gotta deal with it so now I'm gonna compile and save now we can press play and let's pick up some different types of items so that we would see the actual result and the last one I need to pick up is the carrot there we go so here we have our items and as you can see they are setting colors the same way as they have for the button itself so if you want to change more more colors for your items let's say in my case I will change the click to use color to be the same as we have for these um, pickable items what I'm gonna do is back in this tooltip here we have this set color and opacity for the name and I will do the same for the value uh, click to use uh, text so I'm gonna get this click to use and I'm going to set color and opacity connect this like so and I will just simply do a reroute over here drag this down a bit and connect this over here and if we compile and save this time I will pick up just a few items you can see that click to use is the same as for the item itself if you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to leave a like and uh, if you have any questions suggestions please leave a comment down below I'm writing down all the suggestions I have and I'm currently uh, planning on making a storage tutorial as well 
uh, since it got requested also I am getting these requests for weapon systems um, we will have more weapons uh, in time I still need to make a few more models in order to uh, make a tutorial and give you guys some more assets and uh, yeah I'm going to make um, bows, uh, pistols, uh, maybe some rifles and uh, yeah the weapons are coming everything's coming guys so just give me more ideas and I will post these soon. See ya!